In the last class we saw how Wilson a small businessman was tricked to join the red-headed league and later was fooled by it. Watson seeks the help of Holmes to solve the mystery. In today's class we are going to see how Holmes intelligently handles the case and exposes the culprit thus bringing to light the reason for why Wilson was tricked. Holmes and Watson first visit the district in which Wilson's shop is located, where Holmes does some mysterious things. He asks directions from a clerk at the pawn shop. He taps the street outside with his walking stick and remarks that the case is complicated. Later, he asks Watson to meet him at Baker Street that evening at 10 and to come armed. When Watson arrives, he finds two other men there. Peter Jones, an inspector from Scotland Yard, and Mr. Merriweather, a bank director. Holmes investigates further. The job of the Red-Headed League had required Wilson to leave the house for four hours every day. So Holmes suspects that the job was invented to simply keep Wilson out of the way leaving Clay to work on something illicit at the house. When Sherlock realizes that there is a bank on the same road, he understands that Clay is digging a tunnel from the cellar to the bank in order to rob it. The disbanding of the league probably, probably indicates that the tunnel is now finished because Wilson no longer needs to leave the house. Holmes rings the doorbell and a bright-looking, clean-shaven young fellow answers. Holmes asks for directions and then promptly leaves. As he walks away, Holmes reveals that the man is in fact John Clay. Holmes explains to Watson that he asked for directions because he wanted to have a chance to look at his niece. He wanted to see if the trousers were dirty and torn as this would indicate a lot of digging. Holmes concludes that the robbery will likely be tonight because the tunnel is finished. As such, he gathers Watson, Detective Jones and Merriweather. The men wait in total darkness in the bank cellar for the culprits to arrive. As expected, eventually two men surface from the trap door. The first is the same man who answered the door to Holmes. Holmes managed to grab Clay and detains him. Detective Jones fails to capture the second criminal. Holmes dryly assures Clay that soon his compliance will be caught as he has three policemen stationed at the other end of the tunnel. Clay compliments Holmes on his thoughtfulness and Holmes in turn compliments Clay on his ingenious plan. Later, Holmes explains to Watson how he solved the case. Thus, the case gets solved and Watson understands the reason for him being tricked into joining the Red-Headed League. Children, I hope you understood the story. As homework, write the number of characters and their names. Read the supplementary again for better understanding. See you in the next class. Goodbye. Take care.